Hello, let's make a painting. I'm gonna start with, I'm still working on the intro. It just doesn't happen so far. I know it should be like, hello, let's make a painting. And for the shorts, I already know what it is, but it's for the long one, it's, I gotta come up with something. Uh, all right, so we're gonna put water in the, on the, on the paper. Let's stick it down. And I just realized now my my paper is kind of twisted. So I think later I, I fixed it. Uh, the other thing I try to do, uh, I guess this video is going to be more informative uh, about the process. The other thing I try to do is recording while I'm painting, but I found that like, I don't speak much there because I focus in on the painting and I, I like to explore that and I get the experience out of it. And when I force myself to talk, I kind of forget to paint and just keep doing the same thing over and over and it doesn't work well for me. So I guess the format is make a painting and uh, oh, move the paper. Look at that, it's like a burning thing. I think I'm gonna, the, the outside is some kind of a, a windy day. And maybe something later, I don't know, I feel like the painting is gonna lean down that way because it's kind of windy and I'm pretty sure that's gonna, I, I mean, I already see it, it's reflecting a lot because it's already like a mix of colors going around and it's very floating. So, um, that's what is gonna happen. But anyway, the format we, we're gonna do is uh, paint and then uh, voice uh, over. Or otherwise it just doesn't work well for me. But also it's kind of strange because I'm watching myself doing it and it's not, it's not like I'm, I really pay attention most of the time what I'm doing, I'm just doing stuff. It is reflecting on the paper and now I'm watching it and some of the things make sense. Some of the things are like, boy, out of, out of this world. So it's gonna be very floating, as I said. That's a lot of water, a lot of things going on. So I'm not sure, maybe the palette knife scratched down some of the Paint down, moving up, yeah, moving, make a movements like left and right, maybe up, all the way up. Try to make some kind of tree, no, not a tree, that doesn't look like a tree. Some kind of rocks? I will step away. That's another thing, you see something, you're stuck, it's like, man, just step away, it's like, you don't need it. Let it stay a little bit, and then you can always come back to it. But if you feel like, uh, if you feel like you're stuck, you, you, you gotta step away. So, the horizon line is there. Maybe remove some of the paint. My water? No, it's just gonna be some kind of a little hill. We can see the light. Or maybe it's just water. I'm not sure yet. I will keep removing some of the paint. Maybe a little bit thicker line because later the water will start going into it. So it is water, it is water. And in, in the way the paint develop on the top portion of the paper, like the very dark spot, this look like a cloud. So at this point, it's it's, it's like a wind. It's, it's all this half circle movements. Uh, I guess it's windy, it's just like outside. So, and the foreground is gonna be big waves and some lights reflecting.
I really like the the top left corner. I, will, I don't think I will touch that because we have a little bit of orange, red, yellow, blue. I'm just mixing and floating around. Kind of like that. I will just put some clouds. Interesting, I still keep the paper. I, I guess I didn't realize the paper is like twisted, like laying down. Remove some of the paint there, but I really want to keep the left side where is the red and orange. I think it's balanced well with the bottom right side. Beam of lights, maybe I was thinking, but then clouds just look way better. Because I already have the wind blowing from the middle ground. Maybe some tall grass, just to show it's windy. Do a little bit more with a palette knife. So I guess the wind is coming from bottom right and is twisting and then it's blow from left to right. So that's why we have this circular moves and the grass is kind of starting, uh, it's leaning down on the left side, but then on the top portion it's like going on the right side. And some of it is, there you go, I, I think. A little bit more with a palette knife some heavy strokes for having this uh, white uh, reflection on the grass on the foreground. And the horizon line, I would just like scratch the paper, pretty much damage the paper there. Uh, I want to emphasize a little bit more on the clouds because the water start taking over there. It's just a nice contrast between the wind blowing and, and the white clouds. Maybe some beam of lights, or just one. Let's try another one. No, that's still like a part of the clouds. No beam of lights today, I guess. And there you go. Watercolor, abstract, landscape.